and freshman. So, you know, going into high school can be kind of like, uh, you know, uh, but, you know, like, teachers are here to help. And what we did is we decided we'd go around and we just talked to teachers about advice for you guys. So, yeah, let's go check it out. I recommend that they um, plan their schedule out ahead of their time and they carry some of their books in their backpack with them and try not to text in the hallways, just get to class. To help students improve their writing, I recommend that they seek help from their student, from uh, their classmates, from their teacher, and learning comments. Um, just get as much help as they can to improve as a writer. Freshman, you're going to get some work if you do outside of school. The best advice I can give you is to write that assignment work down somewhere. Put it in a notebook, put it on your phone, set a reminder. Anything you can do so when you get home, you can look at something and say, oh, I have a reminder, I need to do something before the night's over. That's the only way you're going to stand on top of it. No one is smart enough to remember eight periods of information when they go home later that day. So please, write your signs down. Happy Friday, York! These are your YTV Daily Announcements for Friday, August 26th, 2016. I'm Eric. And I'm Andrew. Looking for something to do tonight? If so, come out to Luca's Dream Fundraiser at Crazy Poor in Ville Park from 7 to 10 p.m. for kids and until 2 a.m. for adults. Tickets will be $25 at the door. Raffles will be starting up at 9 and include Cubs tickets and comedian Sebastian Miniscalo tickets. For any information, contact Nia Baya or check out Luca's Dream Facebook page. Hope to see you there. Join as is. We provide a welcoming environment for students of any sexual orientation or gender identity. As is meets every Wednesday right after school in the CCRC. Contact Ms. Thompson or Mr. Gobielski for more details. Did you know the York Food Court offers hot breakfast every single day except late starts? We also offer a kiosk in the A building before school. So if you want a quick snack or breakfast or drink before your first period class, you can head there. Attention Duke fans, your, your Dukes will take on new trigger tonight. There will be a pregame tailgate open to all students from 6 to 7.30 p.m. in the student lot next to the marquee on St. Charles Road. Sophomore game starts at 5 p.m. and varsity at 7.30 p.m. Students must bring their IDs to get in. Go Dukes. Do you like learning about different cultures? Come join International Club. Our first meeting is on Wednesday, August 31st at 3.15 p.m. in room A392. We'll be planning our upcoming year and discussing officer positions. For more information, check out our new blog or contact Mrs. Connelly. See you there. Are you interested in volunteering or getting service hours for NHS? Then join Key Club. Our first week, our first meeting will be Tuesday, August 30th at 710 in room A290. Hope to see you there. The Italian Club will meet on Tuesday, August 30th after school in A227. Join us for an Italian treat and to plan ahead for the year. Would you like to improve your research, writing, debate, negotiation, and diplomacy skills? Then Model United Nations is the club for you. Model UN will hold its first meeting this Monday morning at 7 a.m. in Mr. Gearing's room, C277. Come join the meeting at Model UN. The Intramural Fitness Center will be open every day after school starting Monday, August 29th. The Fitness Center will be open from 3.20 to 4.20 p.m. And those have been your YTV Daily Announcements for Friday, August 26th, 2016. I'm Andrew. And I'm Eric. Don't forget your American Apparel dudes. It's not old, it's vintage. If you enjoy vintage movies, fashion, and design, please stop by room 8334 Thursday after school to sign up for Vintage Club. See Ms. Olsen for more details. Congratulations to the boys' varsity golf team on their second place finish at the prestigious Bartonville and Limestone Invite in Peoria this past weekend. Mark Leali led the team with an even par round of 72. Mitchell Russell shot a 75, and Tom Manning shot a 79, and Kyle Kukwicek, last but not least, shot an 81 to round out the scoring. The Frosh Soft team also won the Lions Township invite on Saturday with Aiden Nen, leading the way with a 2 over par 34. 
Great job to all golfers. So, uh, are you ready? As ready as pasta sauce is for spaghetti. Who's ready? Who's ready? Are you ready? Or what? Are you ready? Are you ready?